Hello there. Today we are at a flea antique here in Brazos in Georgia. It's very rainy, so what a better day than to be stuck in an antique mall. So let's go in and see what we can find. This booth is 40% off. So let's see what we can find. I like this chip and dip, but I have quite a bit of them right now. These coasters are really nice, $20. Now, some of you said you get a little dizzy when I film, so I'm trying to take it slow and hopefully it's a little better today. This is 47, but this is only 22. This folk art, hand painted, um, birdhouse. Um, it's a little bit crude, but other than that, I kind of like that. This bowl was crazy. 1950. 1950s, but it's $85. It says Murano This one is outstanding $620 I don't think we can do that even at 40% off I like this owl made in West Germany 1850 her, I think his eyes are glass He's really cool. Okay, well, don't think I'm gonna get anything from in here. I like this, I've sold this before. It's 13.50, that's about how much I got for it. It's Japan. I like this face. Oh, it's a mug, I wish it weren't a mug. Um, it's 39, I can't do that. I like this hand painting, but it looks like a knockoff of Roseville. And then this looks like McCoy. It's $8. Oh, it's as is. The tail and the wing is broken off. I love the stance of this dog. It says made in Brazil. I like this brass. It's $9, which is a really great price. I just don't need any more brass right now. This is only $4.50. Pottery dish. I just wish it were a little bit more colorful. And then this is signed. It's $1.50. <laughs> I might pick these two up. And then this horse is really cute for $4. So I'm gonna get him. And then this bear looks like a hobbyist piece. In the cases. That dog is cute. Vintage ceramic dog, $15. I love the fencing pieces he has in here, but they're just a little bit too pricey for me. This one's huge to ship. And this Czechoslovakia is gorgeous, but it's not priced for resale. So there was a shopper in this booth and I didn't want to bug her with talking to myself. So um, this booth was 30% off. This is one of those that I always pop in. She has great things. This um, clown cross stitch I've had my eye on, but then when it came down to it, I kind of didn't feel like picking it up, but I absolutely love it. It's from the 80s, um, so it is a well-known cross-stitch kit. She has a lot of Japanese pieces in this booth. Well, Japan um, dinnerware and figurines and such. So I always like to pop in here and see what she has, and then running the sale really attracted me into here. Um, this is the other side of the booth. I loved this little trivet. 
I'm trying not to pick up too many plates right now. I loved this, but there was a horrible stain on it. And I just felt like I don't I didn't know if it would come out, but it was absolutely beautiful. Um, so like I said, a lot of Japanese um, dinnerware pieces. And so I'm just scanning to see if there was anything new and I didn't really find anything. Unfortunately, this is with sugar without its creamer, but I absolutely love the 70s print on it. Also Japan. These were interesting to me. Um, they definitely had some age. I pulled them out and I couldn't really see anything on them. The stand was added after the fact. Um, I'm not sure if they're Indian, Native American. I wasn't really sure, so I left those behind. And then this caught my eye. She had it marked as Russian. I It's not marked whatsoever, and I still need to do my research on it, but I absolutely picked it up for $7 and 30% off. It is a tea light, and it is beautiful. This is one of my absolute favorite booths at this market and it is one of the very first ones when you walk into the door, hence my voiceover because I was too shy to talk but um, they do know that I have a YouTube channel and so I just decided I would speak a little bit more about these pieces that I'm looking at um, on here. I did pick up these Santas. I'm not sure if they're vintage, but I picked them up for myself. This is a Sasha Bristoff plate. This pattern is one of the most popular ones and it does very well. I could not believe he only had $16 on it. So I picked that one up. This is definitely, I call him the pottery guy. I've never met him before but he is a man after my own heart with all the pottery that he has. Um, I've picked up incredible pieces out of this booth and I've done very, very well with them. Um, this is like a, a tea set. It was Jap Japanese. Um, I just know it's Japanese because I've looked it up before, but it wasn't marked. Um, but there was a lot of crazing and so I love that. I actually have this Israel enamel um, set on my eBay right now so I didn't feel like I needed to pick another one up. I always come here and look at these four clay pieces. These two little girls are Japan. These, This next piece that you're about to see I could not believe the price. Beautiful cruel um, piece. You guys know I love selling these cruel pieces but I did pick one this, this one up and it is currently living with me. Okay, we got the donkey salt and pepper shakers. $5 for the pair. What's wrong with them? Why are they only $5? They're really cute. The, the uh, salt and pepper comes out of the nose, which I think is super cute. They both have the stoppers. I might pick those up. I originally came over here for the stone bear. Show up. 36. This booth is a favorite of mine. Um, I've never bought anything out of here that hasn't sold for me. Um, I'm not seeing much new that I'm interested for resale, but I thought I would just pan around and show you guys what's in here today. Sorry for the fan. Um, this gorgeous um, Fenton, hand-painted Fenton. This one is 99 and this one is 125. Um, so I can't do that for resale but they're absolutely gorgeous. I just saw that one in the back. It's 110. We saw them last time, but they're just stunning.
I Love Me Some Gnomes, especially by Tom Clark. Look how cute this clock is. It looks like a Frankenstein clock, like bits and pieces of something. But it is wood. It's really, really cool, like a robot angel. This booth is very, very eclectic. I love this and I always pick it up and think it's pottery, but it's actually a uh, goofus glass. Very, very old, but as you can see, it's very worn. I don't know how much do they have on it. They have $15 on it, but it's very, very worn. Okay, so every time I come here, I look at these and I skip over them. Um, I was watching another video and someone said they were Italian, which I did not know that. Um, they're only $15 each and like I said, I always, always come and look at them and then I don't pick them up. I'm going to do a Google search just to confirm and I might pick them up today. I love this Bristol glass. It's so vibrant. The enamel is like perfect. Um, but they want 65 for it and I can't do that, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Super cute Japan baby planters. This one is $6. And this one, oh, is left in. And it's $8. Those are really cute. I might pick those up. I'm going to see what else we get today. I keep seeing the same exact set everywhere with the woman and the man. Um, a little bit different variation in colors, but the same face. So I'm very intrigued now that I'm seeing them everywhere, but not really sure. Um the origins of them if you have any information let me know the color on this is absolutely stunning and you can see on the handle how it was really used and worn i love this this little biscuit it's um made in japan i think it's noritake absolutely beautiful but i don't need it i want him he's only seven dollars Tanala horse with a bird on his back. We're gonna get a key and get him out of there. This booth has awesome um, little trinkets. Like this little dog, cat, tiger thing. It's only $3. Looks like it's made in India or something. I might pick that up. And then they have this Portugal set really really cute for five dollars and then they have these um i guess they're like bookends or something um i guess also like indonesia or india they had them for 20 and now the pair is 15 i don't know i'm very attracted to this pastel color painted wood um but i'm just not sure about them and i don't want to hold on to them for too long um let's see they have a lot of pottery pieces in here, but I'm always just like not quite sure. What are these? They're like abstract um, clowns. I know some people do not like the clowns. This lusterware is pretty. It's Germany. Um, I always come in here and pick this one up. But it's twenty dollars, and I can't, I can't do that. I can usually get twenty-five to thirty for that size. He's cute. He's Japan, five dollars toothpick holder. <laughs> He's really cute. Um, and then this I saw last time, this Czechoslovakia cigar. But I'm not sure at fourteen. What do you guys think? 
I just, I love the hand, actually it's not even hand painted, it's transfer, but the graphics are great on it. This is a new piece that I haven't seen in here before. It's $4, but unfortunately the enamel is gone. Um, wishing you well, planter. That's really cute. It's 18 Again, not really sure. Those um, California Pottery or McCoy, I'm still learning. Um, sometimes they do really well and sometimes you're stuck with them, so. Carl Stone. This is beautiful. It says blue dogwood face as is. Oh, there's a giant crack right here. Actually, it's, oh yeah, it's giant. It goes all the way down there. But it's beautiful if you were to turn it around. It's really pretty. This pottery oil lamp is so cool. It's signed Gander. Um, and it's already rigged. And it's only $8. So I think I'm going to pick that up. This little display shelf is super cute. With the details. It's only $10. I'm finding some really great stuff today. I love my little pottery peak. Oh, it's actually glass. It's $5. It's hand-painted glass. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. This booth is a little, like, mixed up. Like, I'm not really sure what I'm going to find when I come in here. Um, not a lot of vintage, though. This is a cute mug. Japan. $5. I love this grandpa's change. It's $4.50. It's brass. And the seashell elephant. So these are two items that I know do well. But I can't remember how well. So I'm going to leave them for now. And like most times I come in here, if they're still in here next time, I'll probably pick them up. Okay, let's continue. How cool is this driftwood chicken? He's really cool. 125. Okay, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed shopping with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.